Welcome back. Some tough subject matter to get into tonight. Hidden in bags, thrown in dumpsters, left out in the cold. We're not talking about trash. Babies. The CBS 11 I team has learned the number of newborns abandoned in this state is on the rise. And investigative reporter Ginger Allen wanted to find out for you why. Ginger, talk to us about what you learned. Well, Doug, here's why we suspect this is happening. Take a look at this sign behind me. Have you seen one? And if you have, do you know what it means? And do your kids know what it means? Or is this all part of a life saving law that is lost? You are looking at a sheriff's deputy in Georgia opening a plastic bag with a newborn inside. It's hard to watch, but important to know. This is one of the many unimaginable ways babies are abandoned each year. It happened again just weeks ago, just across the Texas border. This baby shouldn't have survived. But the baby boy did survive, even after being thrown into a dumpster in Hobbs, New Mexico, and spending six hours in freezing temperatures. His 18 year old mother told police she didn't know she was pregnant and panicked. She is now charged with attempted murder. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services hopes women here will not make the same mistake. I just want to let them know that they have options. One of those options is the safe haven or baby Moses law. It allows a mother to legally give up her child at an approved location, such as a fire station, hospital, or freestanding emergency room. As long as the baby is less than two months old and is not hurt, Tiffany Butler says the mother can walk away, no questions asked. They're not going to try to come after you. They're not going to try to... You know, change your mind. We're not going to call police. Texas passed the law in 1999 after a rash of newborn abandonments and deaths. The legislation was hailed as a lifesaver. However, the law received no funding for education or promotion. When we started looking around, nobody's nobody's talking about the law. In 2004, Patsy Summy helped start a nonprofit called Baby Moses Dallas. She made sure every fire station had one of these, a safe baby site sign. And she personally tracked every case. Baby found abandoned on floor of bathroom in a garland jack-in-the-box restaurant. A set of healthy 10-week-old twins. They were left with the DeSoto Fire Department. The group also produced this PSA. Don't throw away your baby. Don't throw away your life. Summy worked on the cause for more than a decade, well into retirement. But in 2017, Baby Moses Dallas disbanded. And this appears to be the turning point. Because starting in 2018, the number of abandonments began to rise again, year after year. And as you see here, the I-team found abandonments are still increasing, even as Baby Moses' numbers have gone up and down. With the statistics on the rise like they are, that's telling us that either people have forgotten about the Baby Moses law or they, they may never have known about the law. As for those yellow signs, the I-team found them hanging at most, but not all, fire stations. We saw signs in Arlington and Dallas leaning up against the windows. All four stations in the colony had no signs outside, just displays in the lobby. We've got to start again. Summy says lawmakers should allocate money to pay for more signs and PSAs, and schools should teach the law. She says both ideas would cost very little, because doing nothing could cost lives. We don't need to go back to finding dead babies in suitcases or dead babies in the trash. So we spoke with State Representative Jenny Morrison. She authored the original Safe Haven Law. She says it is up to each community now to spread awareness about this. And Doug, we have learned many nonprofits that work with young mothers are trying to do that right now. Ginger, you mentioned uh, not every fire station has a sign. So what about the signs? How, how does a fire station even go about getting one? Well, Representative Morrison says there was seed money for these sides in the beginning of all of this, but obviously as the program grew, the money ran out. Now it's up to each location to get their own sign. We're told those cost between $50 and $70. And right, you're going to be following up with another story on this same issue tomorrow? Yes, and one that will make you smile. We met a couple that adopted a baby Moses child. You're looking at the video here. Look at that little girl, two years old, 
Her name is Hope. I think she'll turn to the camera here in a second. Look there she her. is. What we will precious. share their story on how this happened, how they became a family, all tomorrow night at 10. That's what needs to happen. Precious little baby there. Ginger, thank you so much. Tough subject matter, but something we need to hear about. Thank you.